Nuremberg Armor event. All right, and we have a future Terp here who looks like he's raring to go. Yeah, All right, yes, you like the swag here from Under Armour? Yeah, it's it, be the best. yeah, it's been awesome. You know, right. everyone loves the gear for sure. Yeah, uh, well, going to Maryland, you'll get a lot more. <laughs> uh, Brett, you know, a lot talked about you on the websites. So I've, I've read about you a lot, seeing your, some of your films on Lax Power and on TerpTalk.com as well. Uh, tell us what attracted you to Maryland. Um, definitely the coaching staff. Uh, I did a bunch of visits. Maryland was the first school I visited, and uh, I was very c comfortable with the coaching staff. Coach Tillman, he, he seems like one of the most down-to-earth guys uh, that's around, so uh, he just made me feel right at home. It had the same attitude, same energy as Yorktown, which is, is a blue-collar mentality. Um, well, and so, you're yeah. a Terp, all right, when you say that. You are a Terp. So uh, I think that was definitely the biggest factor. Impressed with seven Final Fours out of eight years for Tillman? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, the numbers speak for itself. Um, but, but he's much more than a numbers guy. You know, the way he interacts with his players, the way he interacts when he's recruiting kids. Uh, he really wants to get to know them and their families. And, uh, you know, that, that really says a lot about him. So. And Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Where else did you look at? Um, all around um, Rutgers, Albany, Towson, Notre Dame, Virginia. Um, there's a bunch of schools, but you know Maryland stood out for a multitude of reasons, but most importantly, the coaching staff. What grade did you commit in? Going into my sophomore year, the summer going into my sophomore year. Okay, wow, it's so early. But now you get to play for, in my opinion, one of the most up-and-coming coaches in the country. Not just Coach Stillman, he's already there, but Jesse Bernhardt. Tell yeah. us your impressions of yeah, Jesse. Definitely. Um, I had experience with uh, Coach Bernhardt early when he was uh, at Rutgers. He recruited me at Rutgers, and then uh, when I found out he got the defensive job at Maryland, it was kind of just amazing. Did that seal the deal? Yeah, or? I mean, uh, you Coach, already committed. Yeah, yeah, Coach Conner recruited me at first, and uh, another yeah. phenomenal coach. Uh, great, great man, great coach. Um, but, you know, Coach Bernhardt, I'm just excited to play for him, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Do you understand the importance of lacrosse at Maryland? Yeah. More so than almost, um, except for Hopkins probably, more so than any other school. Mm -hmm. Lacrosse, you know, is right there, mm -hmm. and you'll see it's talked about forever. You're in the public eye, and right. uh, you're aware of all that. Yeah, I'm sure it can't compare, but um, I, I grew up in Yorktown, and it's a really big lacrosse community. Um, it goes back, you know, generations of you know, lacrosse families. You know, I, I grew up with a stick in my hand, and I understand uh, the importance of lacrosse. And uh, you know, that was also a big factor. Uh, I grew up in a community like Yorktown, where it was all about lacrosse, and I, I had the same energy and same vibe when I when I visited the University of Maryland. Wayne, 74 ground balls last. <laughs> is that is that all? Uh, it, Jesse Bernhardt, to me, yes. was one of the greatest ground ball guys I've ever seen. Right. I don't think he ever had 74 in a year, <laughs> all right? That's unbelievable. Thank but you. anyway, Thank I know you. you'll be a welcome addition. Welcome nice to College you. Park. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, my friend. Thank you. Brett Makar. Thank you. All right.